berries. I'm on vacation for Christmas and it is still hunting season here in North Carolina. And uh, so gonna have a good time on Christmas uh, break here and I'm gonna show you some good food, uh, some hunting. Uh, I'm about to go meet a friend. He's gonna show me his uh, deer stands. Um, never never uh, hunted from a deer stand. Uh, actually, no, I did one time, I did one time. But um, so looking forward to it. So making memories with the family. That's what this channel is all about. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's do it. Day in North Carolina, I gotta defrost the truck before I go. Over at my buddy's property, he's showing me the hunting stands and so forth, uh, giving me the, the rundown. Super cool place, and it's only like five minutes from my house, so looking forward to it. Just checking out this. Here's here's one of the stands right there. So I think I'm gonna try that uh, this afternoon, and uh, it'll be good stuff. Buddy, I'm back. Uh, it is late afternoon and I'm gonna go get up in the stand and uh, at my buddy's property and see what I can shoot. So here we go. All right, uh, up in the tree stand, just uh, for deer so I'll wait here for you for I'll wait for a few hours and we'll see what happens all right good morning everybody um, it's Wednesday and uh, I'm gonna head out to go hunt again this morning it is super cold I think it's 27 degrees um, so Wish me luck. I uh, haven't been filming a ton just because all I've been doing is uh, sitting in the hunting blinds and uh, and waiting. <laughs> Did some reading yesterday. Um, but uh, I feel good. I've uh, got some good sunrises in and uh, I enjoy it. So um, wish me luck. Here we go. wide open area good cover it's still cold um, anyway um, I probably should be quiet I probably shouldn't be filming either um, it's kind of funny that I've still yet to be successful in a hunt but I choose to uh, record it that's probably why I'm not successful at hunting but I like making videos I like spending time out in the woods. All right, everybody, so it's, um, I think day five, four, five, six, I'm not sure. Anyway, having a good time on vacation. Um, this is turning more into a diary than a hunting video, but uh, anyway, I had a great day yesterday hunting. It was freezing cold. It's uh, freezing cold right now. It's at 22 degrees. Um, I'm gonna freeze my butt off this morning, but that's okay. Um, I saw two or uh, three deer yesterday um, and uh, just couldn't bring myself to, to take the shot. Um, but it was a cool experience. Uh, I don't think I've ever had that much time um, just looking at a deer through my through my rifle scope and and looking at shot placement and checking out the deer. But uh, they were just uh, two of them were just too small for me to feel comfortable taking, and um, the the bigger one just didn't give me a comfortable shot. So. Um, 
even though I have not been successful in hunting, I still don't want to rush it. I want to be responsible. Um, you don't want to wound an animal uh, just, to, just to shoot it. So um, anyway, uh, looking forward to success today. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good, good stuff. So uh, next video I take, hopefully it will be me uh, with the deer down. So wish me luck. So just wanted to show you guys, I've been using these hand warmers, which are small. I opened a package that I bought and I didn't realize it, but even better, super, super warm. It's like a really big, big, big one. So anyway, I'm gonna be warm today. Hey everybody, so it's uh, Thursday morning. I'm up in this tree blind here. It was a freezing morning. It was 21 degrees, 22 degrees when I got out here. Um, no sign of deer, but uh, it's been a beautiful morning. Got the sun rising behind me. The cool thing, though, I know you can't see it, but like 100 yards that way, maybe 75 yards, I spotted a lion's mane mushroom in the tree, I think. I've been looking at it through my binoculars, so um, it's really high up in a tree, so I'm not sure I can get it, but uh, I'm gonna go see. So, anyway, probably shouldn't be videoing, um, but uh, had a good night last night, good afternoon last night. Didn't take a shot on three different deer. I uh, was hoping they would come back this morning. But they haven't but that's okay i love being out here so um i'm gonna stay maybe 30 more minutes then uh head home do some christmas shopping and then come back this afternoon so see you then all right so i got out of the hunting stand it's way up there because i wanted to check this mushroom out and it's probably a really bad idea because there's probably deer right here, but that's, that's okay. Anyway, so I don't know if you can see, I'll try to take a picture right there, way up in that tree. All right, getting closer to the mushroom here. I'm pretty sure that's one, it's up that tree. I'll try to zoom in. We're at Harris Teeter. I'm with my gang here. We're gonna cook cook this weekend, so this is the start of the video, foodie video. <laughs> we're gonna do some uh, tamales. We, we need corn husks. So, so we're, we're gonna do some tamales. We're desperate. We're gonna barbecue, we're gonna smoke, we're gonna make some salsa, we're gonna do all kinds of stuff, and maybe even cook up some deer if I actually get one. We'll see. All right. Getting all our goodies, packing up. We gotta go to another store, find some more ingredients. And, uh, and then tomorrow we're doing tamales and Mexican food. And then the next day we're doing barbecue. So it's going to be store number two looking for, uh, we're looking for corn husks to wrap the tamales in. And Jen is going to the other store. There's Steve. He's got the cart. He's the cart man. But Jen is going over to uh, Costco to see if she can get a brisket. So we got... Uh, we got some shopping to do, and John thinks he found a mushroom. I, well, I'm pretty sure he did um, at his rental that he's staying at. So we're gonna go get. We're on the wrong track here, man. Yeah, we gotta make a bound base. Okay, we're going this way. Corn, they ain't got any corn husk. No we corn husk. Some Did you corn ask? Over there, man. We could buy the corn. <laughs> We're on the hunt for for corn husks. I do see corn right there. We'll find it. We'll find Our, uh, it. No husk. No husk. So 
Lowe's Foods, oh, no good for for uh, well, they don't have for so corn husks. But there's a food lion less than a mile away, so let's try that. Is there a Mexican place around here? I'm not sure. Oh, we can Google it. We'll, we'll find it. We're not going to give up. Struck out on the corn husks, but we got, we got some poncho peppers, some peppers, oh, no, so. Wait, so we just need some corn husks and we'll be like in business. All right. Okay. All right. So John found this lion's mane here. Put it out. See how easy it came out. <laughs> anyway, check that out. Yeah, let me zoom in on that. Oh. oh, that's lion's mane for sure. Mm. That's beautiful. Quick update. We are back at Stephen Honor's house. We, uh, Jen found. Uh, corn husks and we're unloading the goods. I'm gonna go back hunting and uh, And we found a lion's mane mushroom uh, As well, so that's the update C Cooking will be here soon. All right, everybody. So um, been on vacation for a uh, Week now and sorry if the videos are a little bit sporadic um, uh, Been hunting been doing some house chores. We're gonna do a cooking video, uh, finish my other videos. Um, it's just been fun, so. But we're gonna have a cooking day here tomorrow, and so uh, I'm gonna do some prep today. Uh, but we're also going over to uh, Stephen Honor's house tonight, uh, or this afternoon, to learn how to make tamales. And uh, so I think I'll uh, put together a little salsa video today uh, and take some salsa over. So hopefully you guys are enjoying uh, everything so far. We'll see you then. All right, step one, you gotta check your supplies here. Uh, um, looks like I am literally almost out of pellets. So I think I have a half a bag left. So I'm gonna need some pellets. And um, I haven't cleaned my grill in a while, smoker. I don't wanna clean it too much because I think it has flavor, but I think I need to clean it up before the guys come tomorrow. Um, grill. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm gonna clean that up. Oh, I got some leftover paper. So I'm gonna clean those up. Let's do it. All right, so yes, I am vacuuming out the uh, grills, the Traeger especially. Um, little trick I learned uh, from a friend and it works fantastic. Check it out. I got everything cleaned up. Now I'm just going to get get the, the smoker going, grill, get everything burned off. Maybe start a little charcoal on that side. Get everything burned off, ready to go. Um, Alright everybody, so I think uh, the first thing I'm going to prep food-wise uh, is the brisket for tomorrow. Um, so I got a couple of rubs here, my sister got me this rub, it's from Bucky's actually. So I figured I'd try that and make, mix it a little bit. Uh, I got this beef rub from Traeger, still left over, a little bit of that. And then I've been liking this coffee rub by Traeger as well. My binder that I'm going to use is some uh, uh, spicy brown mustard. Might add some brown sugar in there just to help with the bark. So, um, all right, let's do it. Now that we have our uh, rub made, um, gonna get this brisket trimmed up. Always make sure you use a sharp knife. Get a sharpener if you don't have one. Let's do it. So just finished trimming up here. Um, I like to get it nicely shaped. I took some of the fat off. I'll probably take a little more of this little chunk right there. 
because uh, that one cooks down all the way. But uh, I leave some of that on there because that's what tenderizes and flavors the meat. Uh, but my main mission when I'm trimming it up is to take off some of the, the rough edges and um, shape it up really good so it cooks evenly. So here we go, let's season it up. All right, so I got my brisket here um, slathered in mustard. And this is how I do it. I'm gonna put my seasonings on this pan, take my brisket and set it on there and then season the top and then wrap it up. up uh, ready to go so we'll see you tomorrow with the brisket Everybody, about to start uh, preparing some duck for tomorrow I'm gonna do it Asian style so I'm gonna rub it down marinate it uh, and then put it in the fridge um, uh, just to marinate overnight and then tomorrow we'll cook it we'll either I think I'm gonna bake it or steam it I haven't decided I'm gonna take it out and then you fry it um, I think I'm gonna try that recipe, but got a little of everything here. I got some uh, some Thai chilies and a ghost pepper that I'm gonna mince up. Got some uh, green onions here. Uh, kept the giblets. Got honey. Um, let's call it a hero's honey. Ooh, boom, good stuff. Got some uh, sauce that I made. This is some Thai uh, Thai chili gra uh, lemongrass. Uh, that I made this year uh, from lemongrass in my yard. So I'm gonna use that, soy sauce, garlic. Uh, and then I'm thinking I'm gonna glaze it. Uh, I got this, pretty sure this is an apricot preserve. So at the end, I think I might glaze it with this, uh, fry it and then glaze it. Mm. So it'll be good. got my duck ready to go got my marinade and I almost forgot I'm gonna put some ginger in it I think that'll be awesome garlic ginger soy Thai chilies you can't get better than that lemongrass Ooh, good stuff <laughs> Got uh, the bird, the duck here, marinating and all these great flavors. Uh, just when I was rubbing it down, it smelled so good. So looking forward to that. I'm gonna leave it overnight to marinate. Tomorrow we're gonna cook. Uh, and then as you can see, cleaned up already, ready for the next food adventure. Uh, clean as you go, always clean as you go. Have a clean kitchen. So we'll see you on the next uh, next recipe. I didn't show the, the next recipe, but it's been pretty simple. I just have some, uh, chicken legs here, uh, drumsticks, got two packages, seasoned them up. Haven't trimmed them up yet. I uh, figured I'll do that tomorrow, uh, but wanted to get some rub on them. That's gonna be for our barbecue lollipop uh, chicken tomorrow. So um, that's going in the fridge as well. 